Enlargement is a type of transformation that changes the size of a shape by making it bigger or smaller through the multiplication of its side lengths by a scale factor. Enlargements have real-life applications, such as resizing photographic prints or images in documents. Let's begin with an easy example. Here we are being asked to enlarge the triangle by a scale factor of 2, with the center of the enlargement located at the origin, 0, 0. To perform this enlargement, we can write down the coordinates of each vertex point on the triangle, and then multiply each coordinate by the scale factor of 2. The coordinates of A are 2, 2. Multiply by 2, we get 4, 4. The coordinates of B are 2, 4. Multiply by 2, we get 4, 8. The coordinates of C are 5, 2. Multiply by 2, we get 10, 4. Connect the points and we get our new and enlarged triangle. Note that enlarging a shape with a scale factor of 2 means that the length of each side is doubled. The scale factor k can always be calculated by dividing the length of an enlarged side by the length of the corresponding side on the original shape. For example, the enlarged base divided by the original base is 2. Likewise, the enlarged height divided by the original height of the triangle also gives the scale factor of 2. In this example, the center of enlargement is not at the origin, so we cannot just simply multiply by 2 to obtain the image points. Instead, we can use one of two methods to perform this enlargement. The first method can be summarized in three steps. Step 1. Determine the vector from the center of enlargement to each vertex of the original shape. Step 2. Multiply this vector by the scale factor. Step 3. Translate the center of enlargement by this new vector to obtain the image point. Let's put these into practice. To get from the center of the enlargement to vertex A, we move two units to the right, that's the vector 2, 0. Times this vector by the scale factor 2, and we get 4, 0, which means that to get from the center of the enlargement to the image of A, we move four units to the right. To get from the center of the enlargement to vertex B, we move three units to the right, and one unit down, that's the vector 3, negative 1, times this vector by the scale factor 2, and we get 6, negative 2, which means that to get from the center of the enlargement to the image of B, we move six units to the right and two units down. To get from the center of the enlargement to vertex C, we move four units to the right and one unit up, that's the vector four, one, times this vector by the scale factor two and we get eight, two, which means that to get from the center of the enlargement to the image of C, we move eight units to the right and two units up. Connect the image points and we have our enlarged shape. Another way to perform the enlargement is represented by the formula shown on the screen. It states that we can subtract the center of the enlargement AB from the original vertex XY, then multiply the result by the scale factor, then add the center of enlargement AB to get the image point. Let's put these instructions into practice. We'll begin with calculating the image of A. The original point XY is negative 3, 2. First subtract the center of enlargement AB, negative 5, 2. At the top, we have minus 3, minus minus 5, which is positive 2. Below we have 2, minus 2, which is 0. So the original point minus the center of enlargement is 2, 0. Now multiply 2, 0 by the scale factor 2, we get 4, 0. Add 4, 0 to the center of enlargement, negative 5, 2. 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1, while 0 plus 2 is 2. So the image of A is minus 1, 2. Now let's calculate the image of B. The original point B is negative 2, 1. 
First subtract the center of enlargement, negative five, two. At the top, we have minus two, minus minus five, which is positive three. Below, we have one minus two, which is negative one. So the original point, minus the center of enlargement, is three, negative one. Now multiply three negative one by the scale factor two, we get six, negative two. Add six negative two to the center of enlargement, negative five, two. 6 plus negative 5 is 1, while minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So the image of B is 1, 0. Now let's calculate the image of C. The original point C is negative 1, 3. First subtract the center of enlargement, negative 5, 2. At the top, we have minus 1, minus minus 5, which is 4. Below, we have 3 minus 2, which is 1. So the original point, minus the center of enlargement, is 4, 1. Now multiply 4, 1 by the scale factor 2, we get 8, 2. Add 8, 2 to the center of enlargement, negative 5, 2. 8 plus negative 5 is 3, while 2 plus 2 is 4, 4. So the image of C is 3, 4. Connect the points, and we have our enlarged triangle. Now let's do an example with a negative scale factor. To get from the center of the enlargement to vertex Q, we move one unit to the right, then one unit up, that's the vector 1, 1, times this vector by the scale factor minus 2, and we get minus 2, minus 2, which means that to get from the center of the enlargement to the image of Q, we move two units to the left and two units down. To get from the center of the enlargement to vertex R, we move four units to the right, then one unit up, that's the vector four, one. Times this vector by the scale factor, minus two, and we get minus eight, minus two, which means that to get from the center of the enlargement to the image of R, we move eight units to the left and two units down. To get from the center of the enlargement to vertex P, we move one unit to the right, then three units up. That's the vector one, three, times this vector by the scale factor minus two, and we get minus two, minus six, which means that to get from the center of the enlargement to the image of P, we move two units to the left and six units down. Connect the image points, and we have our enlarged shape. Notice that the original shape and the enlarged shape are on opposite sides of the center of enlargement, with the image flipped upside down. This is usually the case when the scale factor is negative. Let's use the other method to perform the enlargement. We'll calculate the image of Q first. The original point Q is 7, 5. First subtract the center of enlargement 6, 4. At the top, we have 7 minus 6, which is 1. Below, we have 5 minus 4, which is also 1. So the original point minus the center of enlargement is 1, 1. Now multiply 1, 1 by the scale factor minus 2. We get minus 2, minus 2. Add this to the center of enlargement 6, 4. Negative two plus six is four, while minus two plus four is two. So the image of Q is four, two. Now pause the video and calculate the image points for P and R. You should get the same image points as we did using the first method. Connect the points to form the enlarged shape. In the fourth example, we expect the original shape to get smaller since the scale factor is less than one. Let's first determine the image of A. To get from the center of the enlargement to vertex A, we move six units to the right and two units down. That's the vector six minus two. Times both numbers in the vector by the scale factor half, and we get three, negative one, which means that to get from the center of the enlargement to the image of A, we move three units to the right 
and one unit down. To get from the center of the enlargement to vertex B, we move six units to the right and two units up. That's the vector 6, 2. Times both numbers in the vector by the scale factor half, and we get 3, 1, which means that to get from the center of the enlargement to the image of B, we move three units to the right and one unit up. To get from the center of the enlargement to vertex C, we move two units to the right and two units down, that's the vector two minus two, times both numbers in the vector by the scale factor half, and we get one, negative one, which means that to get from the center of the enlargement to the image of C, we move one unit to the right and one unit down. Connect the points, and we have our image triangle, which is actually smaller than the original, since the scale factor is less than one. Pause the video and practice finding the image points using the second method. The calculations for the images of A and B are already there. Try calculating the image of C on your own. In this fifth and final problem, we need to find the center of enlargement. First, we need to identify corresponding points, one from the original shape and one from the enlarged image. Using a ruler, draw a straight line that passes through each pair of corresponding points, extending the lines beyond the image and the object. Points F and C correspond. Points A and D correspond. And finally, points E and B correspond. The point where the lines meet is the center of enlargement. So the center of enlargement is 1, 5. To determine the scale factor of the enlargement, we need to determine the lengths of corresponding sides. We'll use the base of both shapes. The image base is four units, while the original base is two units. Hence, the scale factor is two. Thanks for watching. Don't forget.